I wanted to quick show you. I know a lot of the projects either have like a template um, or a, a pattern of some sort. And I wanted to show you a really easy way to be able to transfer your, uh, there we go, to, to, to transfer your line designs onto say a canvas or whatever um, kind of surface that you're working on. So I am using a black six by six inch canvas. I wanted to quick show you how you can easily transfer um, your line drawings onto either another piece of paper or a canvas or whatever. Now I took the hard one. I'm doing the black canvas um, to show you a different way of doing it. And so what I did was I have my image cut to a six by six inch square to fit my canvas so that I can set it and lay it right down. You guys can see that, my light's kind of bright. Um, lay it down on my canvas like so. And what I did was I have just a basic white color pencil. You can use white color pencil, you can use chalk, anything that will transfer when you um, write on it. Now you can use regular pencil if you're doing it on paper or if you're doing it on a white canvas. I'm using a black canvas so I am doing a white colored pencil. Um, but this is an easy way. You can also use transfer paper but I know right now there's a lot of stores that are closed, there's a lot of places that you can't get to. And so I wanted to make it as easy as possible to teach you how to transfer an image. So what I did was I took my white colored pencil. Um, this is a design brand one. I don't even know if they make these anymore. Um, and I just t turned my picture over and I colored across the back with the white color pencil. Now if you're using a regular color pencil, you can do a regular uh, graphite pencil, just the number two, you can do that as well. Now I was testing out to see on the black canvas if I could see my regular pencil. I could see it. My eyes are pretty good, um, but for those that are, have a little bit harder time seeing lines, you will definitely, if you're going on a black canvas, you're definitely going to want to use white chalk or a white color pencil so you can see it easier. Like I said, I could see it, but not everybody has you know good eyes to be able to see lines like that. So, so here's my here's my image. I turn it over, and literally, this is what I do. I'm just coloring across the back and I'm using some pretty good pressure with the white colored pencil and I'm just going to make sure that I'm doing it like that. Now this is great for canvas. Also a little FYI, a trick for you. If you were transferring your image onto say a piece of mixed media paper or watercolor paper, you can hold your image up to a bright window with your paper on top of it and you'll be able to see it. It'll act like a light box and you'll be able to see your lines through that paper and then you can trace it right onto the paper that way as well. So here's my image on top and all I'm going to do is I'm going to start with, I have just a pencil and it's not super sharp because I don't want it to poke through my paper but I do and it's coming through beautifully. I can see the lines perfectly. I don't want it to poke through the paper, but I do want to be able to see my lines. Now those of you that like to use black canvas, I took, this was a regular white 6 by 6 inch canvas, I took some matte um, black spray paint primer and just sprayed over the top of my canvas and turned it black. That's all I did to get my black canvas. Many of you know that I really, really enjoy painting on black canvas just because I like the colors a lot better. So you can see all I'm doing is I'm tracing my image and every once in a while I'll just kind of lift up my paper just to make sure I'm not going to move it. I'm just lifting it a little bit just to make sure that I can still see my lines of where I'm drawing and make sure that it's coming through okay. And 
and again, just checking. I think I moved it a little bit, but that's okay. If that happens to you, don't worry. You'll be able to figure out probably where you're going anyway, so don't panic. All right, so I've got all my flowers up on top traced already. I'm just gonna go to my little floppy-eared bunny here. Now also a little trick, oh my guess I didn't, I missed a couple spots, is to use a different color pen. So my printout is black. If I use a blue pen, I'll be able to see exactly where I traced over as well. That's another little, another little trick just to be able to see where you've gone, what you've got done. And I'm just gonna lift this up, check it, awesome. Now if you use chalk instead of colored pencil, you may get a little bit of residue um, from your chalk wherever you're pressing down with your hands or your fingers. Also, uh, you can just take an eraser and erase that. Also, if you make a mistake, you can take an eraser and lots of times the eraser will take off colored pencil and it'll definitely take off your chalk. All right, so let's give it a lift here. And you can kind of see if there's any spots that you kind of need to go over again. All right, I've got him traced. He's perfect. Now, here's what you can do as well. If there's some spots that you have trouble seeing, all you do is you take your colored pencil and you kind of just go over them again a little bit to make it so that you can see them. like so. And then you'll be able to see those a little bit better. I know on the camera I can see it a little bit better um, with where I just went I just went over. But it's that simple guys. It's really not hard. Um, and I know lots of times uh, different projects, different lessons call for transfer paper, white or black or gray or whatever. And um, I'm just here to tell you that you can do your own. You don't need to have to go out and purchase it. Um, it takes a little bit more elbow grease, yeah. A little bit more time, yeah. But when you don't have the supplies that you are called for, there's different ways of going around that. So there you go. He's all, or she, I guess, either way. Um, is on the canvas and ready to paint. I hope that this was helpful. And if you guys have questions, just shoot me a message. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of the day. And uh, I will be talking to you very, very soon.